Welcome to the Bible Balance Healthcast, episode number 419. Watch out, all testosterone pellets are not the same. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. For the last five years, Dr. Maupin and I have been going uh, annually and sometimes semi-annually to conferences of physicians uh, at the Age Management Medicine uh, Conference. Age Management Medicine is a new specialization area or focus area for doctors. Most of these doctors are practitioners of various training certifications who have decided that traditional mainstream American medicine isn't moving in the direction that it needs to go. And they are doing what they can to help one another learn, to do research, to bring the results of that research to the table and educate one another about things that they are learning now that they didn't learn in med school. And one of those things has to do with hormone replacement therapies. For a while, because of the Women's Health Initiative, uh, back in 2000, 2002, hormone replacement was uh, an anathema. People were afraid of it. People were saying, oh my God, it's going to cause cancer. They found out that that study that led to that conclusion was an invalid, incorrect study, was abandoned early before the results were in, and no one now gives it any credence at all, except the popular media and the med school people who were trained at that time who were trained to say, oh my God, you're going to kill all these people if you give them hormone replacement therapy. They're all going to get cancer and die. <laughs> now that's not true, and most people who've looked at anything in recent times know it's not true. This group of doctors has come together and said, let's educate one another so that we know what works and what doesn't work, what the risks are, what, you know, so on. So hormone replacement therapy covers a range of activities and a range of hormones. The one we're focused most on is testosterone replacement. As people age, their bodies, which naturally make testosterone, both men and women, begin to diminish the amounts that are made. And what we've found is that if you replace those to appropriate levels, the normal levels of younger, healthy adults, that they can fend off a lot of diseases of aging. Uh, they can maintain their muscle strength. They can have stronger bones. They have greater libidos. Uh, it, it, it's very beneficial. But there are a number of ways that testosterone is provided to consumers. Uh, you can have creams, you can have gels, you can have shots, and, uh, and you can have pellets. And Dr. Maupin, in her 15 years of, of doing this practice, has tried all of these different delivery systems. We discussed them in both of our books. The Secret Female Hormone, which you may have read, you can get from Amazon, talks about why she... Uh, use those different methods and what her conclusion about them has been. Our new book that comes out in January, Got Testosterone, which is a book for men, will discuss the same con uh, concepts or concerns. At this meeting, Dr. Maupin was on a panel of experts. The, the group asked her to be on a panel to answer questions from other doctors who do hormone replacement therapy. And one of the other panelists turned to her with a question and asked her about uh, side effects that he was experiencing in his practice. And her response was, I don't get those side effects. And I made sure he was using pellets. I yeah. said, are you using pellets? Yes, he said. And he had the same side effects as the reasons I don't use other forms of testosterone. He had men bloating, men with breast development and nipple pain or itching. Uh, he also even, had even weight shirt, gain. Even moving against your nipples will cause pain and distress if you have this issue. Right. And, and if you use, generally, if you use gels, creams, sometimes shots, you'll get these side effects. It's why I don't use those other things. I use just pellets to avoid these So there's a cluster side of effects. these side effects. What, yes. what is the cluster? And the cluster is the estrogen side effects. Okay. So est estrogen is uh, something that can make uh, a man 
quiet movies, but but just <laughs> commercials. <laughs> we, we, we discuss we yeah. just we discuss that at length, and then it can also give you a lot of swelling in your legs. It can also give you swelling in your hands. That's not comfortable. It makes your uh, joints ache. Uh, but they also get breast symptoms, chest symptoms, so that their their chest or slash breasts hurt and get. Um, and they grow, and their nipples are very sensitive. So they, they, and that's not a symptom that men generally have. It's something that they don't like. It's something, of course, as women, we don't like, but we're used to it. So we, we kind of, you know, when we had periods and, and our hormones were surging, we'd get used to that and knew, know it would be gone. But they're taking testosterone, not estrogen, but their testosterone is turning into estrogen. So we don't see that with pellets, our pellets. And there, there are other pharmacies and other chains of um, pellet replacement, testosterone pellet replacement companies that use different kinds of pellets than we do. So, so when we go to these conferences, there is an exhibit hall and uh, suppliers of various and sundry pieces of equipment, uh, test, uh, whatever you can think of that markets to the medical market. And different pharmacies. And there are probably a dozen to 15 different pharmacies from around the country that are compounding pharmacies, meaning that they're not the mass production pharmacies that supply your medicines to Walgreens. The, the medicines, like if, if Dr. Moplin wanted to write a, a specific prescription for me, then she would have the ingredients compounded, put together into a pellet, by a compounding pharmacy. And there are special types of pharmacies. They have special regulations and, and special behaviors to specifically make for you, tailor, the medicines that your doctor wants you to have. There are any number of those companies. There are two that you've had a relationship with all of, the, all the 15 years, 16 years you've been doing this. Right. And it, it's very important that your doctor pays attention to their pharmacies, has a relationship with their pharmacies, and knows that what they get today is the same in their pellet as what they got two years ago, because we are depending on the size of pellet and the dose to always be the same, exactly the same when we say 100 milligrams, we want that 100 milligrams to really be 100 milligrams, and to be the same type of testosterone. Which so, is one reason you don't buy stuff off the internet. Right. From Asia. Because you just have no idea what's in that. It no, can be no regulation, no consistency right. of measurement or ingredient. Well, there's not anybody, I don't I don't think, in the US that Doing can pellets. make pellets Pellet. out yeah. of something like that. But there are two ways to make pellets. One is with pure testosterone powder that comes from yams, and the powder is pressurized into a uniform shape and size, and it dissolves at the same rate every single time for the dose. So 50 milligrams would dissolve in that one person at the same rate today and 10 years from now if they're made the same way. But there are other cheaper versions of pellets. And many of the franchises, the ones that you know the names of, but I'm not going to mention because I don't want to get a lot of letters, they have a lot of commercials that they have tea in them. <laughs> in their names, and um, they use, many of them, not all of them, use something called micronized testosterone. And micronized testosterone was is, is testosterone powder with something that holds it in little balls. Yeah. So it's slower to dissolve, and that sounds like a good idea, except what happens in a pellet is it goes through your system and then is metabolized like pure testosterone if you're getting the powder, but when you get a micronized pellet, it keeps going through your liver and making dihydrotestosterone, so you get really hairy, and women get beards, and I mean, the side effects are terrible, if, especially for women, because there's a lot of the DHT in it, but for men, they make a lot of estrogen out of it if it keeps going so, through their liver. So, so if you have the pellets that are micronized, then you your testosterone that you receive converts itself into estrogen and DHT, mm -hmm. and then that causes these extra side causes effects? Causes these side effects, which the other the other side effect, which is the one that came up first, actually, in our conversation at the, mm -hmm. at the um, podium, was bloating. Men get a lot of bloating from the micronized pellets, and they get, like, their belly kind of enlarges. Well, that, there's a lot of fluid that develops because their estrogen is high. Now, estrogen opposes testosterone. 
So if you make estrogen out of your pellets and you not only get these side effects, you don't get as much testosterone. So not as much bang for your buck. Right. It, it binds up your testosterone. So not only do you get man boobs and belly fat and belly enlargement and slowing of your uh, intestines and uh, you you know get more emotional, it so, doesn't do what my pellets do. So if I went to a physician, a regular physician, not a, a, an age management mm -hmm. specialist, and I said, I'm having this discomfort abdominally, I'm having bloating, mm -hmm. the first thing they would think is you have some sort of a bowel problem. Right. That this is a, an elimination issue where we need to look and see what's what's wrong there. Usually it would be that, but we rule that out right? and we check the hormones. And, and then you would also check to see were I on a micronized testosterone pellet. Right. I, if I could find that out. If you could ask, now, yeah. Now, that's very hard to get that information out of a pharmacy. Really? It, they just say, oh, it's just testosterone. Yeah. So I have to ask specifically, is it micronized, right. which is what they use in the sublingual tablets and vaginal tablets for women, or is it powder? So my two pharmacies know that they cannot change my pellets ever to micronize, even if it's cheaper. So I'm not going to do that. I have to have the same type of pellet. And your doctor has to care whether you get the same type of pellet so you don't get all these side effects. So it's similar to, to an aspirin. An aspirin has acetylsalicylic acid mm -hmm. and sugar. And sugar is the base mm -hmm. that holds mm -hmm. the tablet together. It's mm -hmm. all pressed and the, and the drug is saturated in, in the sugar. So with a testosterone pellet, you have pure testosterone mm -hmm. that's powder. That's packed. That's held together. It's packed tightly. And then is there a casing around it of some kind? They have, some, they have a binding agent in it that's inert that, help, that helps hold right, it together. Tell me what that means. An agent like cornstarch or something like that that would h help hold the powder together. But mostly it's pressure. Okay. They use a single-handed pressure um, instrument that puts pressure on the pellet. At a certain pressure, you get the, sa the exact same size and the same surface area. In other words, the outside um, area has to be exactly the same. So it has to be the same dose and the same size to get the same effect. And that regulates its uh, how dissolving slowly, process in the body? How it dissolves in your fat. All right. And, and how, uh, how long it takes to dissolve, how many months you get out of it, what, how high your blood level goes. Now, um, I will say that if I, if I had 10 males in front of me, not every man would dissolve the testosterone pellet at the same um, in the same amount of time. And that's and, a function of their stress level, their activity level, and, and their, their fat, metabolism. And their fat. Yeah. And so the, you have to look at how fast you dissolve it. So every man has his normal. That's why it's important to have individualized care. So we have, say, you have to have 1,800 milligrams of testosterone, and you have to have half of them 100 milligrams and the other half 200 milligrams. 200 milligrams dissolve slower. And you won't get as high a peak. The 100 milligrams cover you for the first four months, and the 200 cover you for the full six months. So it gives you a steadier kind of um, blood level. Now, I know how fast you dissolve yours and how often you need it and how much you need by when your symptoms go away and what the, the blood level is. But you would be so, totally different than... Another man who has a different metabolism, a different age, a different um, exercise program. Right. So I have to know what the perfect dose is for that person. It doesn't work if my pellets are different each time. Right. And it doesn't work if I'm getting all these side effects because I spend all this time trying to get rid of the side effects. And that also changes your blood level of the testosterone. So it's very important that you get powder pellets. For, and that you have a doctor that knows what your dose is and can elevate it, say you're going to run a marathon, we give 150 milligrams extra for somebody so, who's going to do that. So there's so, nothing wrong with micronizing as a process for manufacturing. But, but not for it, pellets. it's not going to work right for pellets. Right. So, so basically somebody, a pharmacy that's making sublingual tabs and vag tabs will use the same pot of testosterone uh -huh. and use that in their pellets and in their sublingual tabs. But so it takes more money, time, and effort to have your 
powder testosterone and your micronized testosterone separate, and you only use the powder for the pellets. So, so what happened at this conference? <laughs> Dr. Moffat was on a panel with two other doctors, all recognized experts with a lot of experience. And one of them turned to her before the discussion started and said, you know, do you ever get this symptom of uh, bloating uh, and gynecomastia? Mm -hmm. uh, from my pellets. From from men on pellets. And because I have this, he, he had three different offices in the New York area where he operated out of. He didn't even ask me that. He said, how do you handle it? Yeah, how do you handle it when, when you get it? Assuming I got that. And she looked at him kind of blankly and said, well, I don't get that. And he said, you don't get that. And she said, I haven't gotten that in the years I've been doing this. And then they both looked at each other and went, <coughs> Oh, okay. Why? And then the discussion started. But it stuck in her head, and it bothered mm -hmm. her. And she pursued finding out what he was asking mm -hmm. and what and it And why meant, there was a difference. And why there was a difference. And the conclusion was that there's a difference between the pellets that have the micronized testosterone and the ones that don't. And more doctors should know that because their patients will have fewer adverse side effects from the HRT that's available to them, the hormone replacement therapy that's available. So it's very important that you go to the same doctor, you know your doctor, your doctor knows you, and that you make sure that they get their pellets from someplace that uses powder. Now, my two pharmacies are College Pharmacy in Colorado and Belmar Pharmacy in Colorado. I've used them forever, and they are consistent. And I... I'm very pleased and happy that they are so concerned about making sure their dose and their surface area, their size of their pellets are consistent for each of my patients. So otherwise, I couldn't, I couldn't determine your dose easily. It would be different all the time. Well, and should you choose to go to some of these high-volume clinics that just pop these things into you, and the doctor doesn't spend the time with you that, that a doctor like Dr. Moffin would spend with you, what you may be getting is micronized pellets, and you may be getting less positive return for your investment and, and a more negative experience. I, I have one other thing. The okay. two doctors that I was on the panel with spend a lot of time with their patients. It wasn't that. They didn't know the difference. Well, they're not these high volume clinics. That's no, but they didn't know the difference. I yes. just don't want to create no, that's a good point. A, any discontent there or any mm -hmm. uh, aspersion of these two gentlemen. But... Because if, if there are many people at the at this conference that watch our healthcast, so they 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 thought they were all the same. That's why they asked me that question. They didn't know the difference, and that's really important. That I I wouldn't really have known that except I talked to a pharmacist to right. help me understand the difference. You badgered it out. Yeah, of I got it out of them. So uh, so. I don't want to make anyone believe yeah. that those guys know what's in their pellets. It was just what their um, franchise that that they get their pellets from, mm -hmm. what they give them. So they didn't know the difference. In any case, we do now, and so do you. And you can always ask if the pellets are made from powder or or if they're micronized. And if they if your doctor doesn't know, then they can find out from their pharmacy. Oh, thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.